Hello and welcome everyone to Democracy 4. Today we're going to be using democracy to destroy democracy. It's going to be fantastic. We are going to implement the Vuperian state democratically, or at least trying to. So we're going to have the Vuperian party, and then just so that we aren't actually against any real party because that would cause criticism and or drama, uh, let's go ahead and do the Yamist. The Yamist state. Fantastic. And then we'll go ahead and uh, just leave it like that. Fantastic. Alright, I am ready. I am, I am, I am prepared for this. Oh, I'm not prepared for this. Okay, so health, health isn't very good. Um, GDP isn't very good. Unemployment isn't very good. Crime isn't very good. And poverty isn't actually terrible. So... Let's go ahead and fix the things we can fix. The biggest crisis seems to be respiratory disease. Hit it right on the nose. <laughs> Hit it right on the nose there. Um, and it looks like a big issue for that is tobacco usage and uh, a poor environment. So one of the things I like to do is fix things while spending very little money. In order to get rid of uh, term limits, we're going to have to very carefully very carefully get power from the people. Actually, I want to know how to remove term limits. Uh, is it a thing? I hope it's a thing. That would be a public service, right? No? Uh, I, I have no clue how I would change that. That's got to be under economy, tax, public service. Where would elections be? Uh-oh. wonder if I can search. I'm... Oh, search. Uh, term. Executive term limit! Ah! Yes, two. So to raise it, it'll cost 34 political capital. To raise it to what? Three? None will cost 68. Holy guacamole. All right, that won't be easy. Um, so we won't touch that because that'll be extremely challenging. Uh, cool. I guess we'll just go ahead and focus on fixing the country before we try to become dictators. So I guess we'll start with public services and try to find some cheap stuff we can do. Oh, that's from a old mod that they actually put it in. That's nice. Uh, free eye tests are quite cheap and that reduces poverty and helps health. We can spend a billion on that because a billion is like nothing compared to our deficit. Hashtag our money, our problem. <laughs> Alcohol awareness campaign, also super cheap, and actually reduces alcohol consumption, which should help our public health. Let's look at the other things we can throw into place. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Keep the country tidy campaign, super cheap, makes improvements. Just all of these really simple and cheap ways to fix things. Telecommuting initiative is huge because we can knock car usage down, um, like, a lot. Ooh. Okay, so there's all that. I don't have enough to do more. We're going to have to fix the budget, though, because if I'm raising the amount of money we're spending, it's going to be issues. Climate change protocol. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emission of greenhouse gases in industrialized countries. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order to not put too much strain on the economy. Still, ratifying it can be clock costly costly limiting gdp growth in worker productivity mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i'll ratify it because our health issues are bad wow we dropped our co2 emissions by 10 percent by clicking one button wow we we solved global warming kids we solved it no like Security briefing, nobody hates us yet. That's fantastic. I'm a huge fan of not being shot in the face. All right. So we got pollution, which should be declining now. Oh, look at that. Look at... Well, it's not really changing from us. It was just changing over time. 
All right, so that's all very cool and all, but let's go ahead and do free school meals because that's quite cheap and it yeets poverty in the face really hard. Okay, and then with the rest of our political capital, we're going to fix the deficit because the deficit is bad. Deficit, not good. I think we can fix the deficit and uh, the, the, uh, the environment at the same time with a carbon tax. But that is an extremely expensive thing to implement, and our political power maximum isn't even <laughs> isn't even close. Um, all right, so we're gonna have to increase our popularity by doing more things to make people happy. Uh, we're going to try to cut the deficit by dropping military spending a bit. We'll put it, like, here. This is gonna make some people very unhappy, but there's... Uh, we we need the money for other things right now. I'll put it back up if I can. Oh, poverty dropping big time! Look at poverty! Boom! <laughs> we have yeeted poverty. Fantastic. It's gone. Fan tobacco. Yeah, let's... Let's go ahead and do that because I want to reduce tobacco use. You know what? You liberals can go away. You want people to get lung cancer? Of course you do. Of course. Alright, our, our popularity is increasing. We're about to hit that 50% point. Um, which means that we're going in the right direction. Our deficit is down a little bit. It's exciting. I like not having a deficit. Let's go ahead and throw crosses all over our bank. No, no I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and... Hybrid cars initiative is not very expensive. I wish it was just an electric cars, because electric's better than hybrid, but I guess that's the best I can do. Uh, enterprise investment scheme is also really good. I'm gonna do this one to stimulate the economy a lot. Um, so this should actually make a massive change in the economy. And it will use pretty much all of the money that I had set aside from the um, military, but it's the best. It's the best I can do. All right. Oh, the deficit is actually not increasing because it takes time for things to be implemented. I always forget about that. All right. So we're not doing awful. We're not doing awful. Private space industry. Yeah. The big thing. Science funding is going to be big. Um, we have really, really low science funding right now. Uh, we can throw that really high, but if we're going to do that, then I need to make the money up somewhere. And I am going to do that, because it's going to really increase our economic output. Um, but the cost is going to come somewhere, and the question is where? I feel like we can tax things that'll also help in other ways, like petroleum. We can just raise that bad boy to like 20%. Get that car usage down. Get that car usage down. It's not even impacting GDP to move it that far. Uh, what's that? How far do I have to move it to impact GDP? Oh. Wow, really? I can move it that far without impacting GDP at all. Seriously? Okay, I don't believe that's true, but if you're going to let me do that, I will go right ahead. Cool, that'll take off half of the cost. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a tobacco awareness campaign to try to reduce tobacco usage. And that should give us eight left. How hard to raise the tobacco tax? Not hard. We'll just raise it as far as we physically can. Should be 32%. Cool! Fantastic. Poverty is really low now. Ban nuclear. Yeah, I don't really need nuclear tests. It's fine. When we're one nation that takes over the entire world, we're not going to need nuclear weapons. Unless those damn yam separatists come back again. In which case, possibly. Okay, so we're still doing pretty well. We're not very far into our term. The deficit is dropping quickly, which is fantastic. Um, where is our deficit? Where is our... So the debt is still increasing, but not as quickly. 
So our income is in green, which where? Oh, it's right down here. So they're right on top of each other, really. Um, yeah, it's very close. The global economy is dropping, though, so it's a good time to get our debt under control. Um, but how are we going to do that? How are we going to get things under control? That is the question. Um, I feel like we can get money from somewhere. Question is where? I don't want to affect it like the middle and low class. Um, see how much we're making with capital gains. I don't really want to hurt the GDP too much. Oh damn, that would be a really high capital gains tax. Uh, but that's 15 billion, which would almost eliminate the deficit. Almost eliminate the deficit. And it barely impacts the GDP. It makes people angry. Just all the way. Just... <laughs> well, we'll do it until it starts affecting GDP. Um... There we go. So we'll raise capital gains tax. Uh, and then car tax, I don't want to raise. Um, airline, uh, corporate tax. Now that is an interesting one. I can actually raise that to 20%, which will do a slight hit to GDP. Uh, but I'm investing so much money into science and stuff that it should counteract that. GDP up, unemployment down, gridlock has ended. We have people smuggling. Um, yeah, I'm going to deport them because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to convince people that it's okay to smuggle people in because if you let them stay, then more people will attempt it, and that's creating a dangerous situation. Major donor abandoned party. Well, I'm doing well, so be quiet. Okay, what's our popularity looking like? It's going up. Our approval rating is rising. Voter intentions are good. We have a surplus. That is insane. The United States government having a surplus. Could you imagine that? I couldn't. I couldn't imagine that. <laughs> Cries on the inside. Alright. Um. Okay, if you click off of the screen, it does that. Good, good to know. <laughs> good to know. Oh, everything died. Alright. I just wanted to check how long I've been streaming. Or recording. All right, so I'm going to try to think of ways we can... What other problems do we have? Okay, we have a lot of alcohol abuse, uh, which is slowly dropping with my uh, changes. Uh, respiratory disease is decreasing. Obesity is decreasing. The hospital overcrowding is decreasing. We are slowly getting through the issues. Uh, road building. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care. Um. Oh, nuclear fission. Oh, that is such a fantastic policy to have. We can legit- oh man. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Why would environmentalists not like nuclear power? They're clearly misinformed and or uneducated. No, we are- we are going to eat that as far as we can. I am a big believer in nuclear. Big believer in nuclear. And then in order to cover the cost of that, we're probably going to have to increase income tax a little bit. Potentially. Depending on what our surplus looks like and or doesn't exist anymore. Oh, my cabinet ministers are not happy with me. That's fine. Just a bunch of boomer. Oh, wow, the surplus went up. Okay. Fantastic. It looks like our GDP must be going... Oh, it's kind of medium. Uh, we have a skill shortage. We should fix that. It's being caused by our education being awful. So let's go ahead and look at our education system real quickly. 
Uh, we got our science, which is doing well, but what about our public schools? Technology colleges are cheaper to fix, and that'll actually get technology up, which will help you do... Okay, so we'll start with the colleges. We'll go from the top down, uh, which is kind of the worst way to do it, but it'll be the easiest way to do it. Um... State Postal Service, quite cheap to improve, and it increases productivity quite a bit. So we will go ahead and do that. We have the money. I have, like, no political capital net left, so we'll go ahead and wait for the next thing. Unemployment is still dropping. Uh, we're not going to ban transgender soldiers because I see no reason to do so. And let's go ahead and look at... Ooh, term limit. Can I... No. Nope, I was I was hopeful. I was hopeful. <laughs> okay, we just have to do that within some point, okay? At some point. Our popularity took a dive. Um That's unfortunate. We have a surplus. Why would you not like Why would you not like us? We have a surplus. <laughs> Clearly the citizens do not care about the freaking economy. Oh, Food Standards Agency. Um, super cheap to improve. And it will increase our health, so there's really no reason to not do that. Stability. Who cares about stability? Population, lifespan. What's the lifespan looking like? Oh, it's go going up. Going up. All right. Um... Question of the day. We have a surplus, but is it enough of a surplus? If we could increase that surplus a little bit further. This is the part where the middle class starts absolutely hating me. But it's it's for a reason, okay? I, I have to implement changes by getting money from somewhere. Once the GDP skyrockets, I'll drop tax rates again. All right, we are doing well. Very well, in fact. But how can we do better? What is this bad boy? Telecommuting initiative. I already did that. Alright, so that's a big boy player. Executive term length. Is that cheaper to change? Oh, that is cheaper to change. Oh no, that would cost 35. <laughs> Seven years. 70. It would cost 70. That is insanity. Okay, uh, let's see. What can we do next that'll be cheap and help the public? Cheap and help the public. So schools and the health service are two major issues in our country. Uh, health, the biggest thing that's going to hit us with health. You know what? We can hit poverty hard with food stamps. I mean, it's expensive, but if we doubled the food stamps spending, we could make the poor very healthy, improve public health, and be seen as more compassionate, which is all kind of a plus. Let's do it. It's super cheap to improve as well, when it comes to political capital. What is this? Art subsidies? I... no. No. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, $2 billion can be better spent somewhere else, in my opinion. Okay, health is going up. We have a massive surplus. One of our ministers resigned, and that has absolutely destroyed our polls. Uh, that's not good. We may be in a lot of trouble now. Parents are not happy with us. I legitimately do not know why, but they aren't. We could increase the child benefit. But that'll have mediocre changes. I think the biggest thing that we need to do is... Okay, first off, we need to replace this guy. Who is the most loyal per... Ah, you're super loyal. You have no experience. Yeah, sure. You, you got the job. I should honestly just reshuffle the cabinet at this point. We have so many issues, um, but we can make it a bit further. All right, so 
How are we going to get the people back on our side? Where are... Where's the state school system? State school system! Selective schooling... Where, where is the school system? I can't find... Ugh. School... State schools! Ah! I'm just... Blind. Alright. We're gonna throw a ton of money at it. Like, a ton of money at it. I've... That's going to kind of destroy private schools, but that's okay. I'm fine with destroying them if it's just because we make better state schools. I don't want to ban private schools, though. It's all about choice. Alright, so we're funding schools as hard as we possibly can. At the same time, we're going to, like, triple the funding of the state health service next time because I can't do it right now. Um, wow, with education up, health up, unemployment down, I'm very surprised that our popularity rating is just tanking. <laughs> oh boy. The poor really like us, but trade unionists really don't like us. <laughs> Parents are not very happy with us. Middle income are not very happy with us. Environment. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do... I have a three-point plan to fix these issues. Uh, we need to reduce taxes. I mean, we are killing that deficit, but it's at the cost of the people. So we're going to drop taxes by a bit. Just to try to make them happier. Um, at the same time... Let's go to that state health service. You know, alcohol abuse is a huge issue as well. What is our police force looking We have no police. What? How expensive... Conservatives will really like that. Crime will drop, violent crime will drop, unemployment will drop, corruption will drop, antisocial behavior will drop, and alcohol abuse will drop. And it's not even that exp All right, we're a police state now. <laughs> Fun fact. Policy reversal. Voters have noticed your rever reversal of position regarding income tax, and this has affected your percep their perception of your trustworthiness. Wow, you're mad because I lowered the tax rate? Huh. Okay, so we fixed prison overcrowding. Um. Wow. We lost another minister, and that is going to... We're, we're going to reshuffle the cabinet. <laughs> um. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. Great, okay. This this is going to be expensive, but we really need people who are good at campaigning and who are very loyal. Okay, uh, how do I... Okay, hire. Loyal. Good at campaigning. Loyal. Good at campaigning. Loyal, good at campaigning. Uh, you're not very loyal. Uh, this one's rough. You suck at can whatever. Whatever. Loyal, kind of good at campaigning. That, that's fine. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, you know? Okay. 
That new cabinet should help a bit. Although my popularity is going to be zero. <laughs> this is not good. We I don't even know if we have enough time to recover from this. Um, sure, we have a surplus. Sure, we're fixing the problems in the... We're just going to do nothing and see... Is there anything that we can implement that'll just be popular? Like, there's got to be something we can implement that'll just make people happy. Uh, city farms are super cheap. Business, startup, can, yeah, just cheap things that'll make people happy, all right? Make the capitalists happy. How much? Ugh, I've got so little political capital. So little. Oh, cyberbullying awareness. Can, oh, to make parents happy. Yes. Okay. Unemployment's going up. We have prison overcrowding again. Health dropped, education dropped, crime dropped. What happened? What? What? Why? <laughs> Child labor law. We're gonna just compromise on that. Cool. I don't want to make anyone too mad right now, especially with how things are going. Okay, we got a good recovery there for a sec. Oh my god, the deficit just exploded. The global economy took a major hit. Well, there it goes, balancing the budget. Jeez. All right. Um... Oh, man. This is... This is... This is cruel. This is not good. All right. Last step of this video before we exit out. We could help the GDP with helicopter money. <laughs> Uh, we can just print money to fix the economy. It'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Okay, I have 17 political capital. Uh, everyone is pretty happy with me. Let's go ahead and see if we can get any major policies that'll just make people happy. Hmm. Maternity leave will make parents very happy. Like, very, very happy. And we can just spend a little bit on it. Not 10 billion, but like 5 billion. Fantastic. Parents will be very happy about that. Liberals will be very happy about that. Okay, and I have enough to do one more thing. Let's just do a healthy eating campaign because we can. Alright, let's see. Unemployment up, GDP down. Health is up, crime is down. Alcohol abuse is over. Prison overcrowding is over. Popularity, huge jump. That gives us a little bit of hope. Okay. So, I'm almost... The deficit is still bad. But... Possibly... Possibly by pulling a few more strings. Check the parents. They like me more now. Yeah. All right. See if we can pull a few more strings to end this on a positive note. Cheap things that'll help the world. Let's go ahead and implement a bicycling campaign. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, the electric cars initiative. There it is. Okay, I can't afford that. I can't afford much at all. Bicycle subsidies? Sure. 
A bunch of small, cheap things. Small, cheap things. Workers on boards. Young entrepreneur scheme. Looks good to me. Public libraries. Yeah, that's huge. Okay. That's expensive, but important. GDP continues to drop. Uh, any social behavior is gone. We have we're gonna allow GM crops because screw people who don't understand science. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and please. Yes! All right. Look at that skyrocketing approval. Okay, and it looks like my ministers aren't too angry at me either. So that is good, good stuff. All right. We're at a good point now to end. There is positivity on the horizon. Can we implement a dictatorship? Maybe. We need to get way more popular though. This is a good start, but we're not quite there. It seems like the patriots, the poor, the retired socialists, and state employees like me. Which is funny, I got the patriots and the socialists and the <laughs> retired and state employee and the poor. Okay, fantastic. The conservatives are actually don't hate me too much either. Are they more than half like me. Who hates me? Middle income. Because I raised the taxes. <laughs> ah, boy. It's alright. We're gonna fix things. It's gonna start with the economy. Mostly. We're going to have to fix that economy. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more of me screwing up countries. And I'll see you all next time.